Silver Hawaii! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. Western United States was first open to settlers, the great open spaces of the new territory attracted both honest men and criminals. The outlaws found the rough hill country an ideal hiding place. After one of their daring raids, the local sheriffs were unable to follow them, and their careers of crime might never have been checked if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to the frontier, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're on the trail of Missouri Mike! Hi, oh, Silver! Away! As our story begins, the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, are riding toward the ranch of Widow Sprague. Missouri Mike and his friend are about to shoot us outlaws. We've tried to track down, Tonto. Ah, oh, them feller hide trail plenty good. We wouldn't head north of here on account of the Indians. That's right. We might be heading toward town. What town? We're about 15 miles from Parkersville. Oh, that long way. Silver Scout need water. We'll stop at the ranch house ahead for water. Maybe people there see outlaw. The outlaws have gone by here. They must have stopped for water there. That may be right. Missouri Mike can't travel far. He hasn't much food and he has no money. Uh, we keep him on jump. Here's the ranch house. Hi there, stranger. Stop off here a minute. Oh, young fella, call us. Oh, oh, that's Old Scout. Oh, oh. Do you want to see us? I didn't know that you was masked. I... Don't pay any attention to the mask. We'd like water for our horses. Oh, I sure thing. What I wanted you to stop for was so I could admire them horses. Hey, Ma, come over here a minute. You like horses? I should say so. What's the matter, Sam? Ma, take a look at the finest horse flesh that you've ever seen. Oh, my sakes, who are these men? We're hunting two outlaws. One of them is riding a chestnut mare. His name is Missouri Mike. Ain't seen hide nor hair there, mister, but uh, ain't you an outlaw your own self? What's the mask mean? Nothing. Gosh, I'd give my arm for a horse like this. I, I, I thought my horse was the best in these parts, but he don't compare with yours. Is that your favorite horse in the field? That's him. And they ain't a faster horse in these parts. <laughs> that is, I've never seen a faster one. When my pa was alive, well, well he raced paint against all comers. And he always won. But these two look faster in paint. You see, mister, me and Ma sort of made a specialty of fast horses. We sell the Wells Fargo. You do? Come, Silver. 
Oh, Not so no. much as we did when Sam's yeah, paw was yeah, alive, but in a few more years, Sam will be 21, and then I reckon he'll have enough experience to build up the business again. I could handle it right now, Ma. Nope, not till you're of age, son. We rather hoped to find that you had seen something in Missouri, Mike. Bad hombre, hmm? A killer. Takes a lot. Well, where's the law on him? In five states. A murder? Murder, robbery, and rustling. What's he look like? A heavy black beard, and he rides a chestnut horse is all that we can tell you by way of description. Then you'll have a hard time proving he's your man, won't you? Not if we can see his arm. He's tattooed on the right forearm. Uh, so, that's most like being branded, ain't it? Well, something of the sort. Horse got plenty water now. Mister, where are you heading from here? For Parkersville. Well, that's 15 miles. We'll make it by sundown. Missouri Mike needs food badly, and the chances are he'll try to rob the store to get it. We might find him tonight. Good luck to you. If you hear of any horse races in Parkersville, get into them. You'll win for sure. Do they have races there often? Oh, gosh, yes. The men there are loco about racing. I see. Missouri Mike is said to have a fast horse. A race might interest him. Maybe if so. I... <clears throat> Take good care of your horse, Sam, and you'll never regret it. Come on, Sam. Come up, Scout. Sam, if Paint ever seen the legs on that horse, why, he'd hang his head in shame. Look at the masked man travel. I'd sure like to own his horse, Ma. I wonder if this Missouri Mike will come this way. Maybe if I could capture him, there'd be a reward for him. Forget it, son. You're too young to deal with outlaws. You just forget Missouri Mike and tend to caring for our ranch. Missouri Mike and his pal Steve Sanders were behind the men they knew were hunting them. A half hour after the Lone Ranger left the home of Sam Sprague and his mother, the outlaws approached the place. We can get us some water at that place, Mike. I mm, reckon so. Well, what's the matter? Ain't you thirsty? Yeah, plenty thirsty. But I'd give a heap more for some solid food than I would for water. I'm hungry. Ah, uh, hit your belt up another notch. We had grub this morning. Yeah, grub that weren't fit for a coyote. Well, it was the best that Indian White Fox had to offer. I don't reckon there's any chance that we'd be recognized, do you? Uh, the only way they could mark you, Mike, was by your beard and your chestnut horse. I got rid of both while we was with White Fox's tribe. It was a shame to give up that chestnut. She was a peach of a horse. Oh, this paint ain't such a bad critter. It'll do. Yeah, but there never was an Indian cayuse that could compare with that mare you owned. Anyhow, we got some vittles out of the swap. I just hope we can put over some kind of a deal that'll give us cash to get out of this part of the country. Maybe we will. We'll be in Parkersville before nightfall. Mm, here's hoping. Get up there. Get along there. You aim to stop at the ranch house, don't you? We gotta. We need water and so's the horses. Yeah. Well, here we are. Oh, there. Uh, oh, there. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <clears throat> oh, Mike, keep your sleeves rolled down. That tattooing you got is the same as branding on cattle. I know, I know. Hey, anybody to home? Howdy, stranger. Could you spare a mite of water for a couple of pilgrims? Help yourself, stranger. There's water plenty. We're trailing a couple of outlaws that come by this way. Ain't seen them, have you? Outlaws? Sakes alive, you're the second two that's been by here hunting outlaws. Are you hunting Missouri Mike, too? Uh, yeah. I reckon that's what he calls himself. Well, what's he look like? Well, he rides a... Uh, a uh, chestnut horse. That what you heard about him, kid? Yeah. But he has a black beard, ain't he? That's right. Uh, seen anything of him? Nope. But I'm keeping on the lookout. What was this other couple you said rid by here? Uh, one of them was masked. The other was an engine. Yeah? <laughs> We're behind them, Mike. Shut up, Steve. I never mm. seen a finer horse than the white one the masked man rode. <laughs> I thought mine was the best in these parts till I seen him. You got a fast horse? Fastest around here. Except, of course, the white one I just mentioned. Never raced again engines? Oh, their horses ain't fast. Now that's an engine horse you got there, ain't it? Mm, might be. Hey, I heard of an engine that's got a good fast mare. Shucks, I can outride any engine I ever heard of. You sure of that, young fella? You bet I am. Maybe you can do some riding then. How's that? What do you mean, stranger? Go on in the house. I'll come in as soon as I get freshened up with a mite of water. I got an idea that maybe you might be interested in. Come on, Steve, let's get us a drink. Go on in, son. Mike, what you fixing to do now? Listen, Steve. White Fox has got my chestnut, ain't he? Yeah? So what about it? That chestnut's downright fast. If we could arrange a race between the chestnut and the kid... Eh, pump some water for me, will you? Yeah. Well, what good would a race between a chestnut and a kid do? Well, there'd be a lot of money back. 
White Fox would stake everything he's got on his winning. Well, what good would that do you? Well, if I arrange the race, I could be stakeholder. Here, yeah, I'll pump for you. Mm-hmm. White Fox would put up plenty of cash, and the men in town would like us not covered. Me holding the stakes, you savvy? Well, not yet, I don't. Then we get into that race and either ride away or just disappear with all the cash. Mike, you think we could get away with that? I don't see why not. Come on inside now. Let's talk the proposition over with the kid. The Lone Ranger and Tonto waited in the town of Parkersville for several days, but seeing no sign of Missouri Mike or the chestnut mare, they soon left to hunt the outlaw in the open plains. Meanwhile, Mike and Steve completed their plans for the horse race and... I got everything set now, Steve. It's risky business for us to be in there, Mike. Ain't no telling where it'll end. It'll end with us getting away with a couple of thousand dollars worth of cash money. What? Has that much been put up? Yep. I ain't seen no sign of them two horses, have you, Steve? The white one on the paint. I told you that the masked man and the engine rid out a couple of days ago. They ain't come back, huh? No. Good. I was afraid they'd come and see White Fox here with a chestnut horse. Ah, they wouldn't suspect nothing there. They might. Ain't usual to see an engine with a horse as big as that. They might get suspicious. But if they ain't here... And everything's all right. So how's things stand now? The race is all set to start in a little while. It's Sammy Sprague on his horse again, White Fox. Mm-hmm. I ain't got White Fox thinking that the cash that's been bet has been put at Sprague's house, where the race will finish. First man there gets the cash, you savvy? <laughs> that's good. All the men that covered the bets of White Fox think the cash is there, too. First-rate scheming, Mike. Yeah. Take this saddlebag and slap it on your horse. That's right. We're fixing to vacate here, huh? Yeah, just so. Come on. They're ready to start the race down yonder, there. Yeah, here's the horses. We head in the other direction, huh? All right. Get aboard. There ain't nobody paying any heed to us. There's a sheriff down there starting the race. When White Fox don't get the cash at Sprague's place, he'll think Sam was double-crossed him. Let the kid take the blame, you savvy? There they go. They're off, sure enough. <laughs> and all the men are riding after him to see who's the winner. Uh, well, if the kid wins. Then he'll figure White Fox stole the cash. Each one will suspect the other. But the kid won't win. White Fox is on my horse, remember that. And let's us vamoose. Yeah, get up there. Get, get up there. Get off. The chestnut, ridden by the Indian named White Fox, led Sam Sprague and his paint horse throughout the 15 miles of the race. Then, when Sam's home was reached, the Indian drew rein. Dave, where did all the Indian win? Me win race. Me win them. Oh, oh they're hoping The oh, Indian win. Dead rat the luck. It cost me $50. I've done my best. That, that chestnut ain't no horse I figured White Fox would ride. Me win the money. You pay. You'll get your cash all right, White Fox. It's a fair enough race, I guess. Ain't no use crying about it now. Uh, I'm sorry, gents. You've done your best, Sam. We ain't holding it again you. We already want a plenty in old paint. I reckon he's too old for raising mares like that one. Where money? Where is it, Ma? The men that handle the race said they'd leave it here at the finish. Here? Well, there ain't no cash money here, <sighs> Sam. There ain't. Why, we thought it was here. We was here to see that it was paid off. Me want money. Where cash? Oh, ain't you got it? Son, I told you I ain't. We ain't even seen it. White Fox, there's something funny about him. You think to steal him cash from Indian? We ain't stole it. We ain't. Me got Indian friend here. Mete Mahabe. Hey, there's a dozen redskins here. Hey, white man, till we get cash. Now, hold on. You not cheat him, red man. We ain't trying to. Take your hands off me. Let go, my boy. Take captive. Him steal him cash. I didn't steal it, I tell you, I didn't. I'll draw your gun, Jake. I'll only start shooting if you do. Take him to village. But I'm telling you, Chief White Fox, I didn't have nothing to do with it. You rob an Indian. Now you pay, or you die. Go, I tell you, get go. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto, hoping to pick up the trail of Missouri Mike and his companion Steve, rode across the plains until they reached the top of a slight hill. Whoa, Silver. Oh, Scout. Oh. There, Tonto, is the village of Chief White Fox. Ah. Uh, maybe outlaw hide there. I doubt it, Kimosabe. Maybe better we look there. Tonto no, White Fox. It won't do any harm to look there, but if Missouri Mike was going there, he'd have stopped by long before this. Maybe. He's a long way from here now, unless he's doubled back on his tracks. Maybe that's what him do. He might. He'd figure that we'd ride straight ahead, and then by doubling back, he'd get behind us and be safe. Uh, you look. There go Indian into village now. Toto, isn't that one horse a lot larger than the others? Uh, that not Indian pony. It's a chestnut. It plenty big horse. And White Fox is riding it. That looks as if it might be the horse Missouri Mike had. We go see. Come on, sir. Get him up, Scout. White Fox got prisoners. Yes. Men are holding a white man in ropes. Come on, Silver. That fellow we know. The boy from the Sprague Ranch. That's right. Get him up, Scout. Help me, stranger. These redskins got me. White Fox. You wait. Stop here. Tonto, good friend. Oh, 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 Silver. Oh, Scout. Oh, oh. White Fox, what does this mean? White man steal money from Indian. But you not take him prisoner? That not good. Not good. Steal him bet, Kimo Sabe. Him and me had a horse race, stranger. The men that arranged it stole the cash, and White Fox thinks I'm the thief. White Fox, what are you planning to do with this man? Hold him. Kill him, pay him, White Fox, cash. I ain't got the cash. Wait a minute, Sprague. My friends will attack these redskins. They'll fix your White Fox for capturing me. You wait and see. That's just the point. This might lead to an outbreak of war between the red men and white. Now, White Fox, listen to me. Me one fair play. That all. Where did you get that horse you're riding? Make him swap with white man. You did? Who was that white man? Me not know. Tonto, examine the tracks of the chestnut horse. No, uh, me see him. Uh. And what about them? Uh, them same track made by horse of Missouri Mike. And Missouri Mike was in this village. That's right. White Fox, what sort of a horse did you swap for this one? Me want money. Me win money, fair. And perhaps you'll get it if we can straighten out things first. Yeah. There come white men. Yeah, they're coming to rescue me. White Fox, they'll clean you and your whole tribe out for running off with me. White Fox, Sam, listen to me. We've got to act to prevent killing and to find the outlaws. And then get back the money White Fox won. Want them cash? Soon. Help me, White Fox, and you'll get that cash. You friend Tonto. Tonto friend White Fox. Uh, me friend. Me friend with you. Good. There they are. Tonto, cut those ropes holding Sprague. Hurry. Uh, me, me fix them. Now. Sam, listen to me. Tell them you're not a prisoner. Tell them just what I tell you to say. Oh, gone, Redskins. Let go our friend there. We catch you. Now let Sam Sprague go free or we start gunplay. Hold on, boys. I, I ain't no prisoner. What? Why, look, he ain't tied at all. But they ain't captured me. What do you mean, ain't? We seen him. You boys have got to help. There's an outlaw killer named Missouri Mike. He's the one that has the cash belonging to White Fox here. He schemed the whole horse race. Missouri Mike, you say? Yeah. And this masked man here is hunting him. You gotta help him. You gotta listen to what he tells you. You mean to sit there, Sam Sprague, and say that White Fox didn't take you away from home? That was all a mistake. It's all straightened out now, boys. Now take it easy. And listen to what the masked man tells you. We've gotta find Missouri Mike. Find him? Find White Fox money? Or Indian make him plenty trouble? We can find him, but we'll need the help of both red men and white. Now listen to me, all of you. For some time, the Lone Ranger talked with the men from Parkersville and the Indians, outlining a plan for the capture of Missouri Mike. The following night, the outlaws made their camp. Mike was confident that they were beyond pursuit. Plenty of grub, lots of spare cash, and the horses rested up. <laughs> Steve, there ain't no chance of anybody getting to us now. I uh, sure hope you're right, Mike. They don't know what you look like. And I got my beard shaved off. <laughs> Them Indians know what you look like. 
Me too. And the Indians will be so sore at the white men for not paying over the cash, they won't be telling things. Well, the way you got it figured, it sounds all right. All but for one thing, Mike. What's that one thing? Suppose White Fox makes friends with the whites. He won't. But if he does and they get to comparing notes, then he'll reason it out where the cash went to. Let him. They'll know who to look for. What chance will they have to find us? I don't know, but just We kept our trail well here. Sure we did, but just the same... Another couple of days and we'll be a long ways off from these parts. Well, can't be too far off to suit me. I just got a feeling that... Oh, what are you talking about? I can't shake off the feeling that things might go wrong somehow. Ah, you're yellow, that's all. I ain't, ain't that, Mike. But I tell you, things have gone too good so far. Of all the blame fool things to say... How can things go too good? Uh, If we had a mighty trouble getting away with this whole scheme of yours, then I wouldn't feel like I do. We ain't had no trouble. And you're complaining on that account? Yeah. All our trouble is still ahead of us, Mike, and I don't like the feeling I got. That's all there is to it. Shut up that kind of talk and turn in. The horses took care of for the night? Yeah. All right, then. Get some sleep. We're starting out again at daybreak. The men from Parkersville and the Indians rode through the night. Divided into groups, three white men and half a dozen Indians in each, they swept the plain. The Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Sam Sprague rode at the head of one of the groups. I think we're nearest to them, Sam. I'd sure like to be the one that gets to them, mister. When we passed Brooks Corners, we found that a man answering Missouri Mike's description bought food there. He can sure cover a lot of ground in the hunt the way you got it worked out, mister. How many groups like this are riding? Eight. And each one inquiring at every store they pass about the men that stopped by recent? Yes. And of all the groups, we're the only ones that located a store that sold to them, too. I don't know about that, Sam, but I hope we have the right pair of men ahead of us somewhere. Like finding a needle in a haystack, though. There's a thousand good hiding places for every mile in this broken country. That's why we brought the Indians along. I don't savvy. You were busy talking with your friend when I outlined the plans. I reckon so. Remember this. Missouri Mike is riding an Indian pony. Uh Uh-huh. And they're as strong and husky as a Missouri mule. His pony has spent years among the other ponies that red men ride. I still don't, Savvy. You Peter. will, Sam. Who? 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 What are you stopping for? By this time, the outlaws must be in camp. Now we'll call on the Indians and their ponies to help us. White Fox. Me here. We're man with money. White Fox, you said that you could make your pony do what you wanted him to. Hmm. You ready now? Yes, now. We'll stop every 15 minutes and have your pony call. It was quiet in Missouri Mike's camp. The only sound was the chirp of crickets. The fire had been put out, and both men were asleep. And there came a distant whinny. Uh, what? Uh, what? What the heck? Hey, Steve, you wait. Huh? Uh, what is Sam Hill? Did you hear it? You hear what? Ah, that. That's a horse somewhere in the distance. What ails our horses? Go get them quiet. That clattering might be heard by somebody. Uh, Yeah. Steady there, Dretcher. Steady. Make the critter stand still. Uh, That's this horse of yours, Mike. It's making the trouble. Mine stand quiet. Blasted Cayuse. That might be heard. That's an engine pony, don't forget. That's why he's racing the rubbers. We gotta do something about this horse before he lets folks know that we're hit here. I was afraid something would happen. Shut up, Steve. We don't know who it is over there. Maybe just be a couple of engines. Last you, Cayuse, keep still. Steve, give me a club. A club? What are you going to do? I'm going to keep this critter quiet, that's what. I'll club him till he learns he ain't to clatter around and whinny like that. Mike, then what do you do for a horse to ride? We'll worry about that later on. Meanwhile, we got to keep hid here. Hey, there's somebody coming this way, Mike. Then get out your gun. <laughs> Now, blast your horse, or I'll show you. Mike, look out. The critter's rearing to fight you. I'll teach him. I'll learn that engine, Cayuse. We'd better get ready to ride out of here. I hear someone coming full tilt. Get me a club, I said. How do you expect me to keep this critter quiet? Cut him loose. That's all you can do now. Cut him loose. Let's get out ourselves. 
We gotta hide. Somebody's coming fast. Yeah, that's all right for you to say. You got a horse that'll carry you. But this critter, what in blazes can I do now? Ride him, Mike. Ride him. That's all you can do now. I reckon we'd better ride, Steve. Yeah, he's loose now. Don't stop for the saddles. Get aboard. We gotta travel. There they come. Open fire on them. They've got us, Mike. They've got us. Head out the other way. Here, that fellow. Oh, no. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'll pull down my gun. You too, Mike. Drop your shooting iron before we open fire. We got you now. Your Indian pony showed us where you was head. All right, you got me. But I ain't Missouri, Mike, and no man can prove I am. We'll soon see about that. Son will build up a fire. Uh, <laughs> we'll just see if this man's arm is tattooed. Mike. Mike, he's got you. Shut up, you lame fool. Keep your trap shut. Now, me take look for cash. Get away from me, you dreaded redskin. You fill a swamp horse with white fox. And you're the coyote that arranged that race. And then when I was out with the cash. You didn't figure the Lone Ranger would make friends between me and the Indians, did you, Missouri Mike? Uh, here. Here, cash. Me got money. Look, now you got your cash. Let us go. We ain't got no more things belonging to you. But you've got a lot to answer for, Missouri Mike, in five different states. Yeah. And if you hadn't been so doggone crooked that you couldn't even hold the stakes in a bet honest like, you might never have been caught. I knew something would happen. I knowed it all along. White Fox, you have the real thief of your money now. And Sam, you and the other white men here can handle Missouri Mike from this point on. Yep. Come on, Tonto. Get him up, Scout. White Fox got money now. White men take crooks. You bet we will. Thanks to the Lone Ranger. I owe Silver Come on, Silver, old boy. There's a long, hard trail ahead of us, and we must hurry. I owe Silver away. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.